Hi everybody, welcome to a new series of tutorials on TalkWorks from Four Pockets. Before I start, I have a number of uh, codes to give away in a competition, so if you'd like to participate um, and have the opportunity to win a code for this fantastic new plugin, please follow the instruction in the video description and also check on the comment section to see if the competition is still running or if indeed winners have been informed. So let's Comments. In this first video, I'm going to give you an introduction to talk to talk works, uh, so that you can get a feeling and hear what it, it is capable of. It is uh, an AUV free uh, effect plugin, and what it does, it changes the any sound to give that um, human vocal uh, sound like uh, or characteristics, and it does that. Uh, in effectively emulating uh, um, vowel sounds. As you know, when you speak through your mouth, uh, you practically um, filter and moving, closing it and, and changing the shape, um, the sound which is coming out to um, to give that um, vowel sounds. And um, TalkWorks does exactly the same using a special uh, digital filter or techniques. So in, we are inside AUM because uh, it is just a um, plugin, so it doesn't work as a standalone. So I have loaded up here uh, iSIM as uh, a synth, which will become the source. I have also uh, load connected my AKI LP25 wireless uh, Bluetooth keyboard, so I can play some chords and some notes. And here I have TalkWorks. So let's start uh, hearing, first of all, what um, the preset that I have selected inside Eisen, which is this lead monolith. And the reason I'm pointing to, these, to the preset, because that is actually fundamental in terms of uh, um, transforming that uh, sound to that uh, human vocal um, characteristics that um, TalkWorks will do. So changing the type of preset will change fundamentally the sound. So this is what we have selected now. Nice and simple. So now let's activate TalkWorks and also let's open it up so you can see the interface. So as you can see, straightforward, in this video I'm going to give you just an introduction. So here you have settings, you can host it to, you can sync it to the host, in this case a UM, you can change different type of triggers for the patterns, and here you have different ways that you can run um, vowels in different modes, which I will explain in the next video. But you can go from simply um, uh, playing a vowel, like a, like so, or to have them randomized. So as you press different keys, it will select different vowels. Or running a sequence, which you can see here, which is practically a small sequencer, which will move from different vowel sounds. So in this case, if I play a chord, or a simple note in this case because the preset I selected is mono uh, you can see is moving uh, uh, across these uh, vowel sounds here in the sequence that have been established you can set the play speed for the sequence you can check you can change the setting for your input the mix the output you can also create your own vowels here because it, it has a uh, free format for which a, B, C, and for each four months you have, uh, you can select the frequency and to also change the level. And you have also resonance as well, which you can change. As I mentioned, you can create uh, your sequences here. You can set different step, different lengths, also have different modulation as well. The sign of the transition from one step to the other um, works. If you have uh, the sequence in loop mode or not, you can change sequences, assign different vowels, and so on and so forth. So there is a lot um, that you can do. And also you can use remote um, um, input to actually change for example triggering or also acting on different uh, parameters via cc messages as well so um you can load and say preset as well as you can see here you can even randomize here vowels and uh, while transition patterns creation uh, including modulation so a lot that you can do but enough for the introduction of the interface so let's focus uh, really 
on what it sounds like. So let's select um, these uh, sequence modes. So uh, let's leave it like that. So it moves um, between uh, these vowels which are selected here, which uh, we will do for now. So let's go inside uh, uh, ISIM and let's change different presets. So to give you a bit of a taste of what you can do. So this is the monolith preset. And as you as you hold the note, you can hear it's moving the sequence between the different vowels. But I think uh, talk works works better when you use pad sounds like. So let me give you an example. So let's go to this gray goo pad and let's play some chords. <laughs> So you can hear how nice it is. Let's go for example this comet tail pad. And this deserves really a nice reverb. So let's add a reverb effect. So let's go inside here and let's search for a reverb. Let's go for a, a bliss reverb. Really, really nice. And let me give you a further example. Actually, let's remove the reverb and let's add a shimmer. And again, from Bliss, great shimmer effect. So, uh, and let's change the a pad to these alpha waves pad and let's listen what you can achieve it's really really nice in my view <laughs> And without the shimmer effect. And the great thing is that you, as I mentioned earlier, you can create your own sequences, which is really, really nice. So, for example, um, let's say that uh, I want a, a randomized um, um, glide effect, so we move the different vowels, so we don't need the sequence any, anymore, but it's effectively almost like simul simulating a random sequence. And, and let's listen. <laughs> And very much um, the characteristics of the sounds that you produce is very dependent on uh, your uh, um, input as a source. So let me give you an example. So let's remove ISM and um, let's actually bring in the four-way synth. And um, this is very a very simple synth, but uh, quite effective. And just with this uh, um, simple source, let's listen to how this sound is transformed. So, uh, as I mentioned, uh, um, as you, you use it, you will learn that changing the input source will give you a different quality of sound through the um, human vocal emulation. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, the tutorial and I'll see you in the next one where I go through each controls of the UI. Thank you very much. Bye.